Hello, I need your help. In 2016, I started to save up to buy a tent. And I want a half decent tent. I can't afford the ones I really want, which are... But I've got a reasonably decent amount of money saved up. Um, so I'm looking for something that's under £400 and I'm looking for something that's lightweight, under 2 kilos and it's got to be able to withstand the wind. Now the purpose for having a tent for me is doing hiking longer trails. Um, I want to do through hikes. So things like the Pennine Way is on my list. There's a few long distance trails in Scotland I would like to do. And also I want to use it to go up into the hills of Scotland to bag Monroes. So it's got to be able to withstand the Cairngorms and the other mountains in the highlands of Scotland. Um, I'm not looking for something in the snow, not yet. Um, I've never camped before in my entire life. So this will be the very first time to be in a tent. So at first I'm just going to be keeping to uh, reasonable pitches, nothing too far, one night as until I get a bit of experience and then I'm hoping to try and do the Pennine Way and I'm aiming to do um, campsites and like outside pubs sort of areas. Uh, I'm not looking to wild camp too much, might maybe do two wild camps on the Pennine Way but um, for now uh, I need to get some experience first. So um, I was hoping that you would uh, give me some advice and let me know your suggestions of what kind of tent I should go for. Up to now, I've really been like kind of humming and hawing over an MSR Hubba Hubba or uh, LL Bean Ultra Light. So um, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm not 100% certain on those. Um, a two-man tent might be useful because then I can bring my daughter on wild uh, camping. Um, a one-man tent will obviously be lighter and I'll be able to go further with it. So uh, there's pluses and minuses of both. So I'm busy looking at either a one-man tent or a two-man tent. Either's fine. But it has to be under two kilos, be able to withstand the wind because most of the places I go hiking is exposed. Uh, obviously I'll try and find sheltered spots, but when you're like on the Cheviot Hills, uh, the Pennine Way, Ken Gorms, uh, you've got to be able to withstand wind. And obviously being in the British Isles, it's got to be able to withstand rain as well. So um, don't think about camping in woods, because I know a lot of Americans and Canadians, um, they camp in the woods. Um, that's not really feasible for what I'm looking to do. So um, any advice would be most appreciated um, as well as tents what other kind of gear I should be looking at um, I was just going to buy a really lightweight um, sleeping bag for the Pennine Way because I'm going to do it in August so I shouldn't need anything too heavy for that but uh, any advice would be great and much appreciated so uh, thank you